This video is about installing a rear camera on my fifth wheel. Facing backwards, the camera itself was one that uh, we got off of Amazon. We found out after it took several months to get it that it was coming from China. That I did test it to make sure that it would go the distance that it needed to do for being a wireless. My schematics of wiring of the fifth wheel, I tied into the marker lights. So if I can turn on the marker lights for my uh, fifth wheel, I can initiate the camera. Here is what it looks like when I uh, took the marker light out. In fact, the one that I took out, it was 16 years old, cracked very easily, so I had to buy another one, and I decided to get an LED one. If you don't have a drawing like I do of your fifth wheel wiring, you may want to get a DVM and check out what is the polarity of the leads coming out for your marker lights, if, you, if that's where you tie in. Okay, we tested it out. We found out we had a lot of snow on our monitor that we used in the cigarette lighter of the uh, truck. There wasn't much I could do as far as the camera to find out where the antenna was or whatnot. It was a sealed unit. But the monitor, the reception, uh, was a different matter. What I did was I took it apart and I found out where the antenna was. And it was vertical, which is ominal directional. So I moved the lead up and out. Actually, I put it outside the case in case I had to clip a wire or whatnot on it, but it wasn't needed. Making the antenna horizontal made it directional. And as long as you looked at the screen perpendicular, it would be directional towards the back of the truck and to through the f fifth wheel in my case. So it uh, went right on through and we had an excellent picture. The problems I had with this installation was the coloring of the wires for the marker lights. The positive was a green, which is usually ground in AC, and white, which is usually what, the neutral? So you can get mixed up. That's why you need to check the polarity. Also, the quality of the camera and how you proceed is totally up to you. I don't know how long this camera and monitor will last. It was rather inexpensive. But I can remove it and repair it like it was never there.